Right, we're going to focus now on our top business story, and that is the struggling travel giant Thomas Cook. 170 years old, uh, Thomas Cook is. It pioneered package holidays, of course. Well, it's been facing a very uncertain future. Shares have slumped, debt has soared amid growing fears for whether or not it can actually survive. Well, it could be heading for a new departure now because it's in advanced talks with a Chinese conglomerate over a rescue worth around about a billion dollars. Uh, Geraint Anderson is a columnist and author of the book City Boy. Geraint, thanks very much for joining us. Wow, talk about a personal story. Yes. Um, <laughs> this plays straight into your hands because well, your my wife's wa travelling with him at the moment. That's right. My wife is due to come back on Monday uh, from Mexico. So I'm pleased that they're not um, completely going bust because otherwise I probably wouldn't be seeing her for some time. Well, so. quite. Come, and come. she's one of, I think there's about 11 million uh, customers due yeah. to be flying with Thomas Cook. Uh, this summer, so um, that's going to be good news because it's obviously been seen as a bit of a basket case. Shares have dropped 85% in the last 12 months, and it looks like you know this Chinese company Foson is doing something that will at least keep it alive. Uh, it's it's an interesting move, isn't it? Because as you say, it's been struggling for a long time. Mm. They're prepared to pump money in, presumably partly on the basis that there are so many Chinese who want to visit Europe, who want to visit the sort of Thomas Cook destination. Absolutely, and and it, you know, as you said, it's 178 years old. It's this established, wonderful company, uh, and it does seem like the Chinese have decided that this is going to be the, 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 the Chinese tourism is clearly a massive growth market, especially for Europe. And so, thankfully, they've been offered this lifeline. And, and I, I think, you know, to be honest with you, most people did think it was, it was in real trouble, this company. So even though shareholders are not going to get a great deal out of this, they're going to be massively diluted. And I think a large amount of the debt will be written off. At least it keeps the company alive for another few years at least. Just, just in a word, would you keep the name? Yes, I think it has got some value. It, it's a good brand. Yeah. Not sure how much it is a brand in Beijing, but certainly around Europe. Well, anyway. that's true. Okay, great. For the moment, thanks very much indeed. Thanks for that.